all of the doors are made pretty much the same. They've got three parts. You've got a front piece and a back piece and then a frame that goes on top. And here you see me gluing the front to the back to make up most of what the door actually is in this case. And then I'm gonna glue the frame onto the front of it. You'll also see score lines on the middle piece there that shows where the dot to hang the different hangers go. And then you'll also see where the uh, door, the door handle plate goes. I'm gonna glue that door handle plate on next. And then after that, you've got options of which type of door uh, handle that you want to put on. You've got just a kind of a straight uh, one and then one that's got curves in it. I really like the curved one myself. So that's the one I use on most of these. And then you're gonna put some glue on just the two uh, curved parts of the doorknob it's, or the, the door pull itself, and then glue that to the door plate. Then here's the dot that you glue onto the scored circle there in the middle, and this is what you hang the different hangers on. And many of the doors have window inserts. Now, if you're going to paint this, you wanna use this one, not this one. This one on the right is what comes out of the cutout. This one here that I'm using is the separate one in the file. And the reason I want you to use this one is because this one is a little bit smaller around the perimeter. So it gives you room if you paint this to fit right in there and not struggle with it. If you use the other one and you're painting, it'll not fit well. Then here's one of the door hangers uh, pronounced shh. <laughs> and uh, of course, these all go together the same way. You just uh, glue the, yeah, don't put glue on that. You put glue on the uh, text there and then glue it to the back piece. And then it hangs on the dot there in the center of the door. Then we've got these two triangles. These go on the back of the door and they help it give a stability just to stand up. And so you can glue these on a couple different ways. Um, what I would do is go ahead and put glue on the edges of these. And uh, what, I'm, what I would do then is just glue them onto the back, get them parallel to the bottom of the door. Doesn't really matter where you are left to right, but glue them onto the bottom of the door there, again, parallel to the bottom. And then you're gonna stand this up, put some glue on the bottom of those triangles, and then glue it to the top step. You're also gonna use the score line on the top step to show you where to put the door to get it centered and to get it back far enough. Here are the two steps. You're gonna glue those together and you're gonna use that score line right there and you're gonna butt up the back of the door to that line and that will make the triangles fit perfectly. Here's the larger version of the steps. And again, it has the score line there that you'll align the door to, whichever one you prefer. The tree just slots together. And if you're gonna use the tree, you're gonna to wanna to use the larger of the two uh, sets of steps so that it has space for it to sit next to the door, just about like that. So now you can put the door onto the steps. You'll just want to put glue onto the bottom of the door itself and also onto the bottom of the triangles. And then line up the back of the door with uh, that score line, just like this. And you're all done. All you have to do now is put the two steps together and you've got a door.